What is up guys, my name is Kill the Cloud, and in this video I'm going to be doing a juice review of Juicifer's 7 Collection. So, it's a uh, Juicifer, it's like the 7 Deadly Sins type of thing. So we got 7 bottles of awesome juice. They gave me 30 mils all in 3 milligram nicotine just because I want to taste it with a little bit of nicotine to see how they well they mix it and how well the flavors are with the nicotine basically but uh they got seven different flavors sloth pride envy wrath greed gluttony and lust the seven deadly sins uh and the juice i gotta say is bomb it is <laughs> it's sweet i love it i really do um i love it a lot no uh, seriously though i like it a lot guys i think you guys are gonna like it too juicifer has a really solid uh flavor list and i'm gonna get right to it so, without further ado, let's get on with the review. Alright, so, first on the line is Sloth, okay? They say that Sloth is slow, thick clouds of caramel and cream will make you want to never do anything else. So, Sloth is a caramel and cream. Give it a quick mix, and I'll tell you guys what I think about it. So... All of these juices, I believe, are a 70-30. I believe it's a, yeah, it's a 70-30. It's All right, so good cloud production, good flavor. You know, that's the best in my opinion. Uh, the mod I'm using right now, let me just finish dripping this stuff, though. The mod I'm using is a Snow Wolf 213, uh, triple 18650 battery mod. Here it is with my temple RDA I think it looks pretty nice so I'm vaping this at 96.5 watts and I'm vaping a quad core right now so this should be pretty good for flavor okay so Vaping right off the bat, I'm tasting the caramel right off the bat. The first thing I, I do when I'm uh, when I'm inhaling, I'm tasting caramel, like a, a lightly sweet caramel. Uh, and then when I'm exhaling, not really a cream, but more of like a custard in a sense. But it's very nice. It's a it's a subtly sweet vape. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. The caramel and cream kind of tastes a little bit. If I could put my, uh, if I didn't read this before and just tasted it, I would say to you that it's kind of like a coffee, like an espresso. But that's just the caramel and cream kind of mixing together. It tastes very nice though. The cloud production's good because of that seventy thirty. All right, next on the line is pride which is a raspberry a combination of raspberries and cream that will lead to an excessive love to of self love of self oof someone's gonna have a massive ego by the end of this review pride all right let's do that real quick pop this off do a little bit of a, a burn off for that juice there we go All right. All right. So, right off the bat, this is more of a uh, I'm getting more of a throat hit with this than I was with sloth. Uh, with this, it's kind of waking me up a little bit. I'm tasting right off the bat the raspberries. The raspberries are slapping you in the face. I'm <laughs> raspberries, it, there's no doubt that this is raspberry. Tastes very nice, subtle sweetness, but it's smacking you in the face. It's very fruity. Um, I'm not really tasting the cream at the end, though. Very subtle. Very subtle cream at the at the end. N not too much cream. A lot of raspberry though. 
really strong raspberry very it, it the sweetness is subtle though it's not like a slap you in the face sweetness type of thing but very nice the cream is at the end very tad though i'm in the hiccups right now this is what happens when i vape and i try to juice stuff for you guys i get the hiccups uh that's very nice i like it a lot though it's very smooth subtle sweetness Raspberry right off the bat with a hint, just a tad bit of cream on the exhale. Uh, next up is Envy, a uh, representative of the insatiable desire for berry cereal that we all feel. Okay, let me get, get rid of this uh, pride. That's nice. Uh, Alright, so Envy. Oh, and if you guys want to know what the bottles look like, this is the bottle, basically. Got that kind of like a wolf logo. I like the bottle look. It's nice. Definitely a change. Get a little bit of envy. So, a berry cereal. Let's see how they do against this. Okay, so subtly sweet. I'm getting the berries, definitely like a mixed berry. Uh, the cereal. Not a lot of cereal. I'm getting more of like a berry mix. It's nice. I'm getting a little bit of the milk. Kind of a, a milky taste at the end. Yeah, so it's like a mixed berry with a, a hint of like a milk on the exhale. It's nice though, very subtle. So uh, there's, uh, through all these flavors, it's not a, a in your face sweetness. It's a very subtle sweet. Uh, all right, on to the next one. We got wrath. Wrath is the eternal struggle between milk and honey steeped in anger. <laughs> anyway, uh, wrath. All right then, let's get that started. All the bottles come with a band that you can put on your tank. I think they're pretty sick. Uh, black band definitely makes your tanks. If you have tanks or RDAs or whatever, that, that type of thing. They're pretty nice. Uh, there's the band right there. They put them on the bottles, but, you know, I, I, I keep them on the bottles. Just to add to the, you know, whatever. Let's get on with the review. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Getting the milk and the honey together in one, I'm not getting like an inhale exhale type of uh, flavor deal with this. It's more like togetherness. Uh, these two flavors really work well together. They're nice. It's a uh, sweet milk, very nice. That's nice. Very nice, guys. All right, so milk and honey, that's wrath. Now we got greed. Strawberries and bananas will have you desiring more than you could ever need. I like these uh, these flavor descriptions. I think they're pretty funny. All right, here's greed, guys. That's nice. That's nice, yeah. Uh, the banana is known to be a very strong uh, flavor, but with the strawberry also, you're not getting like, so they did a good job with the strawberries. A lot of strawberry e-juices, uh, if you don't get it down right, it tastes like burnt hair. Just saying. I wouldn't know what burnt hair tastes. Anyway, it uh, sometimes it tastes like burnt strawberry, but this is very nice with the banana. It tastes very refreshing, kind of like a strawberry banana smoothie. If you've ever had a strawberry banana smoothie, that's exactly what it tastes like, basically. That's nice. That's really nice. All right. 
Next up, gluttony. A rich, excessive vanilla custard that you won't be able to put down. Now, see, vanilla custard, this is where I kind of draw the line real quick. I'm going to grab something. Squeak. Uh, I'm getting some juice overfill right now. I'm just going to burn it off just next to this. With vanilla custard, um, there's a lot of juice brands, you know, a lot of juice companies that come out with vanilla custard, and they all seem kind of the same. Uh, hopefully, you know, a juicer, a juicer does a better job at it, but I mean, I've had vanilla custard so many times that it's just like, I don't know, it's, they all kind of seem the same after a while. But let's see if, uh, if juicer does a little different of a spin on it, because I mean, everybody has had vanilla custard at one point in their lives. Smooth vanilla on inhale. With the custard on exhale. Same as every other vanilla custard. Basically the same thing. Uh, it tastes the same as every other vanilla custard. Uh, m some other juice brands do more custard than, than vanilla. This is a little bit more vanilla than custard. But it's very, it's, it's, it's subtle. Uh, there's a lot more vanilla on the inhale than there is on exhale. Uh, exhale is like the custard at the end. But if, if you had vanilla custards from others, it's very similar. It's really not a, uh, a change at all. It's, uh, it's kind of the same actually. So I'm not really big on the whole gluttony thing because I'm kind of sick of vanilla custard, but that's just my opinion. Uh, lust is the last one. A uh, sharp tart candied watermelon will leave you wanting more. So this is the last one, and if you guys already know, I like watermelon a lot, so the good old watermelon, I like it a lot, so I probably will like this juice a lot. Alright, let's get this thing started. Let's do this. That's very refreshing. So, uh... Not a natural watermelon, more of like a candy watermelon, like they said. Uh, subtle sweetness, like I said before. Very subtle on most of their uh, juices. Very nice, though. Very refreshing. I definitely prefer Lust over all of these, in my opinion. Uh, it's not like a Pride. Pride was the raspberry and cream really smack you in the face raspberry really like uh, it was a throat hit uh lust is a lot softer um you know more subtle but it's very refreshing i like lust a lot though lust is uh like lust a lot <laughs> i like lust a lot all right guys so you've heard me talk about sloth pride envy wrath greed gluttony and lust uh, when you buy their whole collection, you get their card that kind of explains everything, you know, that type of thing on their, uh, little card. But, uh, I gotta say that the ones that really stand out the most for me probably have to be, uh, uh, Pride is a lot stronger of a juice. Uh, probably their strongest one in their whole collection. Uh, I like Wrath a lot, the Milk and Honey. Milk and honey is very, if you like desserty flavors a lot, they do have a lot of desserty flavors, you know, with the whole line. It's very desserty or fruity. Uh, and Lust is probably my favorite out of all of them. Uh, the candy watermelon is just gorgeous. Love that flavor a lot. If you guys like watermelon a lot, then you're going to enjoy that flavor a lot. That, you're going to like Lust a lot. Uh, gluttony, the vanilla custard, just tastes like every other vanilla custard I've, I've had. Just a little more vanilla, but that's just me saying it. The Envy, the berry, the berry cereal, uh, berry cereal, it didn't really uh, do it for me. The berries kind of like, they're overpowering the milk on the exhale, so you're not really tasting a milk in my opinion, but that's just me. Uh, and Sloth with the whole caramel cream. Uh, the caramel is really nice. I like the caramel, and you can taste the cream on exhale. I thought that was nice. I like the uh, inhale of one flavor, exhale of another. It's very nice. But, uh, guys, I'm going to give you guys a link to their website down below where you guys can purchase this juice. 
I uh, know they did not pay me to do this review. I don't get paid for any reviews. So like that again. Uh, I've taken a huge long break from uh, YouTube videos just because I've had uh, a lot of stuff to do with some family related stuff, you know, working on some other things, getting stuff out of the way. But I'm back. Uh, I am back and I'm not dead. <laughs> like uh, social media, they love to say that when people stop doing or taking a break at videos, they like to think people are dead. Uh, no, I am not dead. I am back. And this is Juicifer, guys. So I hope you guys like the review. And I'm going to be coming up with a lot more videos. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.